Hello guys, it is that panda guy and I'm here again with another video and I first want to start off by saying the report in this video that is that I'm going to be using it as an, as an example is in another video and it should be called something like me defending my teammate or my clan member, whatever you want to call it, but this is basically it. And I'm going to be using this as an example and going through it. So when you defend someone, um, I'd say defending is the most advantageous thing in the game, like because you can have all your troops stacked up in one place and just be, I mean, it's like it's like sheltering down. I also want to mention that most of the damage is going to be inflicted on the one march unless you have an AOE hero or something defending. So it, it really is going to be sucky being def a defender without an AOE march, especially if you're someone who might get swarmed or something like that, right? So like using an AOE hero also forces marches to stay back but this video isn't about that i'm gonna be going over why it's good and bad to defend and this might say 800k in the report but i also want to mention that it only will show the amount of troops the player started with it won't show the troops that they got defended with over the period of time but i basically had sent a good amount of troops in this base while he was getting swarmed and this is a good example. You see 12k deads in this hit right here and i kind of want to mention that these 12k deads aren't by alien they are by me i had sent my alternate accounts to reinforce him when he got swarmed and this is going to be a good example you can look down here i'm going down you basically see all these deads it's not a lot and you kind of see the ratio is also different you also got to compare the fact that this dude is losing tier 5 troops and tier 4 troops so he was also losing more in this situation especially when i had a lot more, a lot more tier 4 troops at the time had no tier 5 troops and yeah so um, if you guys are wondering, well, you're, you're defending, how are your troops dying? I also want to mention that this happens in, um, it also happens when you're defending like forts and stuff. I don't really know the ratio on a fort defend, but I do know the ratio on a defense on a player because I had looked at it myself and it's basically a 50, 50 when you're reinforcing somebody, you can get a 50% loss. So if you get 6,000 troops lost, you can have 6,000 dead or sorry, 3,000 dead, 3,000 injured. Um, severely when you're defending this player and honestly I think that defending is really worth it because you honestly get the troop um, I'd say ratio right like you get the number on your side you get more of a defense I just I, I just think that it's the most advantageous thing right like if you get a million defenders already have a million in the base and you're only getting hit with a 1 million rally you go from defending 1 million versus 1 million to having a 1 million ratio or of just like of just an advantage on that player even if you're losing troops to dead you're gonna be killing more of those players troops and you're just gonna tank the rally way faster so i really think it's a big pro but you can also consider like this if your member doesn't need you to defend him if he can defend without i guess um having his hospital fill or something like that from a rally or a swarm or whatnot whatever is happening it is worth it to just not sit in his base because you're going to be saving your own troops. You don't need to lose troops. You don't need all these deads. Unnecessary, technically, right? Like, I still find it better to reinforce. I like it more. Just the ratios just come out better. But you don't need to defend the player if you're really confident in the fact that they can win. And if you guys really want, you can always just swarm the rally down. You can attack the rally. You can have multiple marches. I wouldn't recommend just one march hitting it. Maybe five marches. It would be way better if you have 10 plus, but swarming a rally while it's hitting a player because it's going to be focused on that player and it's just going to be taking damage from whatever else is coming your way. So honestly, defending a player I think is worth it personally, especially if the player has a good amount of troops, but if they have bad heroes, they have barely any troops to defend, I don't think it's worth it, especially if the um, troop ratio isn't going to be in your, you know, your side. Like, it's not going to be in your favor, then don't do it. But if you have the chance to defend someone and they, I don't know, have all this ratio on their side, then maybe. I mean, if they can really defend on their own, just leave them be and save your own troops. So I don't know. I mean, I thought it was worth it. I wanted to save my member. I also wanted to save his resources. So I definitely defended him. So you guys take that however you like to. I think I'm a pretty experienced player. I think my advice is pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope this was helpful to you guys. You guys have a good day and peace out.